In this tutorial, we will be reviewing the two-zone technique to evaluate for deep venous thrombosis. The transducer you will use to perform this study is most commonly the linear or what is known as the vascular probe. You will rarely need to use the curved probe to perform this study, especially in obese patients where you need to image deeper structure that might not be visualized using the linear probe. Proper patient positioning can greatly improve image quality. Have the patient externally rotate the hip to better visualize the common femoral vein as shown in the image on the left. And for the popliteal vein, have the patient either hang their leg below the uh, edge of the bed or slightly flex the knee can help visualize the popliteal vein. If possible, having the patient lie prone will help also this study. Let's review the anatomy of the deep venous system. The deep venous system includes the anterior tibial vein, posterior tibial vein, and the peroneal veins that are collectively known as the calf veins. These calf veins will join together at the level of the knee to form the popliteal vein, which extends proximally to become the femoral vein at the adductor canal. The femoral vein sometimes is also called a superficial femoral vein, which can be confusing and many people can actually think that it is part of the superficial system rather than the deep. Therefore, many uh, uh, books now refer to it as the femoral vein. The femoral vein will be joined by the deep femoral vein and then become the common femoral vein. At this level, the greater saphenous vein will drain into it. Just proximal to the inguinal ligament, the common femoral vein will become the external iliac vein. It's important to understand that the deep venous system is divided into a proximal and distal. The proximal deep venous system is from the external iliac all the way to the popliteal vein, while the distal are the three different tributaries of the popliteal vein. When performing the two-zone ultrasound technique, you only evaluate the deep venous system for proximal DVT. You don't evaluate it for deep or distal clots that are referred to isolated calf veins. In the next few slides, we will demonstrate uh, images of how the venous system will appear. At the level of the common femoral vein and greater saphenous vein, you will see that the vein lies medial to the artery, and you will see what is known as the Mickey Mouse sign. You will see the greater saphenous vein draining into the common femoral vein medially, and laterally you will find the common femoral artery. Here you will see that the venous system is compressible while the artery remains not compressible, which is normal. Moving more distally, you will find at this level the common femoral vein lying medial, while at this level the, the uh, common femoral artery already divided into superficial and deep femoral artery. Moving even distally, you will find that the common femoral vein becomes superficial and deep femoral vein. At the level of the knee in the popliteal fossa, you will see that the popliteal vein runs on top of the popliteal artery. After understanding the anatomy, so how do we perform the study? All of these veins are evaluated using what is known as graded compression. So you'll see the sonographer in this video Performing graded compression, you'll see that the you place the probe at the inguinal ligament probe marker towards the patient's right, and you evaluate the anatomy and try and compress the vein with some pressure. This is what you want to try and demonstrate, that the walls of the veins are compressible touching each other. And this is important to rule out DVT in that specific location. So at this clip, you will see that the vein, common femoral vein, is nice and compressible. 
Moving even further, the common femoral vein becomes superficial and deep femoral vein, and it is all compressible. At the level of the popliteal fossa, the popliteal zone is evaluated by placing the probe in a transverse plane probe marker towards the patient's right, and you can see the sonographer in this video performing graded compression. So you evaluate the veins, and then you apply pressure, making sure that the walls of the vein are collapsible. This rules out DVT in this area. It's important to follow the popliteal vein until it trifurcates that is demonstrated in this video below, the three different trifurcation of the popliteal vein, and all of these veins are nice and compressible. This concludes your tutorial for the two-zone ultrasound to evaluate for DVT.